more pixels, please. Apple seems to believe you can never have too many, and so it's decided to add twice as many to the iPad 3 display iPhone 4 was the first Apple mobile device to get the famed Retina display, which allows a screen to display a higher number of pixels in a comparatively small amount of real estate. The Wall Street Journal broke the story and has the details. The next generation iPad is expected to feature a high resolution display, 2048 by 1536 compared with 1024 by 768. In the iPad 2, and Apple suppliers have already shipped small quantities of components for the sampling of the iPad 3. Suppliers that Apple has placed orders for a 9.7-inch screen device. Early rumors slated the iPad 3 to be released in the second half of this year, but according to DigiTimes, it's the display that's delaying the debut. The sources believe that the yield rate of the 9.7-inch panel may be the major reason of the supply delay, since such panels are mainly supplied by Japan-based Sharp with high price and Apple's other supply partners, Samsung Electronics and LG Display, are both unable to reach a good yield. But a writer for PC World argues the delay may have more to do with the bottom line than the display quality. With iPad 2 sales continuing at a brisk pace, there was little need for Apple to refresh its tablet twice in a year, especially as competitors could hardly brag about their tablet sales. Finally, an analyst for CNET says you shouldn't expect the iPad 3 even early in 2012 because... Higher performance panels present a number of challenges. The panel yields are likely to be substantially lower than that of the iPad 2's panel. It makes no sense for Apple to introduce a supply-constrained product in its heaviest demand quarter, third quarter of the year. Apple sold some 9.3 million iPads by its third quarter of 2011, nearly three times what it sold last year. If you are one of those 9.3 million users, make sure you download our updated app. For Newsy, I'm Kylie McGivern, multiple sources, The Real Story.